Hey. Yeah, I was thinking for our first date, we can just go down here to the park. You know that park on your side of town? Yeah, yeah, I just want to go there. You want to go where? Out to dinner. Um, I'd just rather we go to a park. Oh, okay. Or... <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I was thinking I'd just take you out to dinner. Dinner and maybe some drinks afterwards. You want to go to a park? Uh, okay. We don't have to go to a park. I got this... We can sit down, have a meal, we can talk, get to know each other, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you trying to save me some money? Oh, girl, I ain't broke. I got, I'm good. I can take you. Hey, Ross World, my money makes money. This is for the men. This is for guys only. Stop being braggadocious, okay? Because... Maybe you make good money and maybe you don't. And maybe you don't make good money and you're faking like you do. So first and foremost, be honest with oneself. Then be honest with your bank account. Because when I look at my bank account, I'm like, I got this in investment. I got this in investment. I got this in savings. And I have this much debt. How much do I have in my regular bank account with the direct deposit? $150. This girl wants to go out. This is our first date. I want to impress her. Where do I take her? Is she bougie? Do I have to take her to a non-chain restaurant? Or do I take her to Applebee's? Oh, she suggested the part, but I declined it because I don't want to seem cheap. Or maybe she suggested that we go to dinner and I want to take her to the park. This is the decision you have to make for your own financial future. So this is the thing, guys. I'm not giving you or telling you what you need to do or what you should do, but here's a twist. For your first date, take her to a park. Take her on a walk. Take her somewhere where the activities are free or very low cost. Because relationships Dating is an investment that can be very expensive with no return. How many times you took a girl out and you had nothing to show for it? And we're not talking about sex, okay? Because some of you, you need to get off that bull crap just taking girls out to have sex with them and you know there's no real future. These, this, and that's why I said this is for men. This is not for boys who are playing around. This is for men who are looking for a woman to have and to hold, to be in a relationship, and may want to even take it further. That is what this video is for, financially speaking. Now, as I told the ladies in a previous video, relationships, in my opinion, are based upon three tiers. Communication, love and sex, and financials. What am I talking about? If we can't communicate, if we can't talk, meaning when you talk, I cut you off. When I talk, you cut me off, or we are arguing, or we are fussing and fighting all the freaking time because we don't know how to communicate. Either we're going to work it out, or it's not going to work at all. Love and sex. We need to figure out, we need to tell one another how do we receive love, and then we need to know how they receive love so we can love each other properly. When it comes to sex, we need to figure out right? We need to figure out what you want out of sex. What do you want to do during sex and see if I'm all for it and see if she's all for it. This is the grown folk talk. This is the adult talk or things will not work out. And most importantly, fellas, financials. Where is she financially? Are you going to judge her off her credit score? Are you going to judge her on the path that she wants to ball to or fall? Are you balling to your fall? You need to have similar, not the same, similar financial goals or it will not work. Or it will not work. I'm telling you right now, communication, love and sex and finances, if you guys not on the same path, tell you something, bro, it won't work. It won't work. Listen, trial and tribulations I've been through 
trial and tribulations my friends have been through, trial and tribulations that people who are associated with me have been through, it has never worked because you want to spend all the money. She wants to save most of the money. She wants to spend all the money. You want to save most of the money. You got to find somebody who is like-minded, who is on the same road as you, who is on the same path as you, or it will not work. Or it will not work. And you have to let her know that you're not being cheap. You're not even being frugal. You're being smart and you're trying to get to know her. It's not about the part. It's not about the activity. It's not about dinner. It's about you and getting to know you first and foremost before I just deal and wheel a lot of cash. And this does not mean that you should not take out a girl to dinner on your first date. Maybe you're hungry. You should. What I am saying is that every date, the first, second, or third date, doesn't have to involve money. Take her on a walk. Take her on a ride. Just drive around town and just get to know her. Listen to music in the background. Whatever it may be. But just know that if you guys are not like Manning when it comes to financials, you got a tough road ahead you stay together. And you're fooling yourself. And I'm going to tell you this. I didn't tell the ladies this. But I'm going to tell you this. And I know the ladies going to watch some of this. Don't be afraid to add to her credit score on the first date. I know some of you getting thumbs down. Be like, oh, that's personal information. No, it's not. Everybody knows your credit score except the person you're with. Everybody knows your credit score except the person you're dating. When you went to go get your car, they know your credit score. Some of you guys' jobs know your credit score. The credit bureaus know your credit score. The IRS knows your credit score. So for a person that you are possibly going to be on in a relationship with, if she asks you, fellas, what's your credit score? Tell her. Uh, 650. And she say, hey, why is it 650? Then tell her. She needs to know everything just as well as you need to know everything about her. People are like, oh, that's so personal. Okay, so I should keep dating you putting money, investing my time and money inside this dating or this relationship and come to find out that this is the one thing that I can't negotiate. This is the one thing that I can't break bread on. Now, some of you say, oh, that's so superficial and it's so this. Some of you totally understand what I'm saying. You get yourself in a situation where now your goals are hindered. Okay, they're pushed back because you got with somebody who don't have their things together. And that's no hit against them. But you may say, hey, I've been through this before. I'm not going through this again. Or maybe this person is worth it. Maybe this person is worth it and you want to help them to bring them up on your level so you guys can then go out and go together and have a great relationship and you guys on the same accord. So fellas, don't think you have to be braggadocious. Don't think that you'll have to wine and dine on the first or second date. Just know there's many options and you can be creative in those options to date a female, okay? And have her to know that you, not like these other guys out here, you know, charging everything to their credit card and trying to trying to impress people with the money they supposedly have and when you get in a relationship, these guys have no money. And I don't mean they don't have no money because they're not spending on you, but when things come about, they don't have the money. So take for instance me, and I'm going to end it like this because we're talking, we're men, we're talking. A lot of things I don't want to go in my investments for. A lot of things I don't want to go in my retirement for. My TSP, my 401k, my welfare account, my Robinhood account, my stash account, my Acorns account. I don't want to go through it. I don't want to cash out. I'd rather stay at home right there and watch television or look i'm gonna go ahead and grab this fish so you can see that i i cook at home i eat at home yeah frozen salmon they didn't have the fresh ones in whatever but the point i'm trying to make is this i did a video about not eating out 
hey, if she's up for it, because nowadays women are not really up for it, but maybe the first or second date, you get somebody who's, hey, they trying something different, they trying something new, they're really comfortable with you, cook dinner for them. Women love a man who can cook, because nowadays women can't even cook. Not all women, don't take that personally, women. Okay, ladies, don't take that personal. But when a woman can find a man that cooks, they may fall in love with you and they may follow your lead. They're like, you know what? This is a real man. His place is clean. So by the way, real quick. I'm back. Place is clean. <laughs> he knows how to cook and he takes care of himself. So men understand all these tips I'm giving you. I hope, I wish that you apply this to your financial dating life. This is Ross World, where, hey man, I'm gonna keep kicking it. I'm gonna keep trying to give you new ideas, new innovative ways. Innovative. Boy, I really messed up words. I'm out.